friends of a budding young politician who took his own life in a garage on Lexington's north side held a candlelight vigil to remember him. We'll take you there in tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 11. Good evening, I'm Nancy Cox. And I'm Kevin Christopher. Thanks for joining us at 11. His friends say they can't believe Matthew Vanderpool is gone. The former Democratic candidate for the State House was found dead after a standoff last night. Jennifer Hoff is live in downtown Lexington with more. Jen? Kevin, people say that Vanderpool had so much potential and that they're shocked over his death. The candles at tonight's vigil are appropriate then for the friends who came out to remember him. That's the LEX 18 Big Story at 11. He was a really a great person. He cared for everyone. Matthew Vanderpool's friends say he shined just as bright as the candles at the vigil for the 24-year-old. It's just been a real hard thing because I was really close to him. Besides a good friend, he was a volunteer and politician. With just $150, Vanderpool started a campaign and won last year's Democratic primary for a seat in Kentucky's House of Representatives with no college degree, but lost in November's election. He was upcoming. I think. His early accomplishments make it that much harder for these friends to understand what happened to him. Here comes a cop car and then this happened, a bunch of them. Police responded to Vanderpool's mother's house on Wheatcroft Court in Lexington late last night. They reported hearing one or two shots, called for backup, tried to make contact with Vanderpool, and after a three-hour standoff, finally went in and found Vanderpool dead in the garage. <sighs> Nice, great personality, great smile. I'll miss him. He'll be well missed. Friends hope the impact Vanderpool has made in such a short amount of time won't be forgotten, and they're starting tonight. Now, Vanderpool was also openly gay, and he supported gay rights. Now, in an interview with LEX18 last year, he said he wasn't running as a gay candidate, rather a candidate who was gay. Covering the news live in Lexington from the LEX18 mobile newsroom, now back to you. Investigators say Vanderpool's father called police and asked him to send an officer to the home to check on his son because Vanderpool told his dad he was having suicidal thoughts.